Over the last week or so, I've been testing all the wonder weapons that are in Modern Warfare Zombies on the Red Worm boss fight. I wanted to see if any of them were viable enough to actually bring in and fight this worm and win. And the answer is yes, one of them is awesome and it is now my go-to strategy. Like, I will always bring this one in. It's amazing. There is a catch though, the wonder weapons on their own are not great in the boss fight and I would never bring any of them in, but there's a glitch you can do that increases the damage of the wonder weapons. And so we tried it on all four wonder weapons, the VR-11, the ray gun, the scorcher, and the wonder waff. And only one of them held up in the boss fight and the other three sucked. And the one that is amazing when you glitch it out and increase the damage is the wonder waff. This thing just melts everything in the boss fight, all of the elite bosses and the worm. It's incredible. And the method that you use to increase the damage of these wonder weapons also duplicates them. So you can just hand these weapons out to other players and you don't need to duplicate them in the tombstone or anything. And shout out to B-Man. I think him and his crew are the founders of this method. He showed a video of how good the VR-11 is when you increase the damage of it. And yes, it's good against enemies in the game and really good against mega abominations, but you do not want to be bringing in the VR-11 to that Red Worm boss fight. It does absolutely no damage. It is pathetic. First, I'll show you guys how to do this glitch to increase the damage and duplicate the weapons. It's really easy. And then I'll show you guys what this Wonder Wolf can do to these enemies in this game and then also the Red Worm. You're going to need three things for this. A Juggernaut, a Wonder Wolf, and then also a Legendary Tool. First thing you want to do is make sure you have all that on you and then go to a safe place. I like to go to the south arch area in the red zone. This is one place they haven't patched yet and you can stand safely, but you do have to watch out for meat. Throw down your juggernaut and have it ready to open and then place the wonder weapon that you want to increase the damage on in your second slot and then put another weapon in the first slot. Doesn't matter what that is. Then throw down both weapons on the ground so that you're holding no weapons and then pick up the juggernaut and get into it. Let the juggernaut run out and when it does you'll see that the wonder weapon that was in your second slot that you threw on the ground is now in your hands. The one on the ground is now duplicated and can be picked up by any player in the game and used. The duplicated one in your hand has been stripped of its rarity, but not really. Like the rarity is still there, but you can't see it. But it allows you to put on another legendary tool, which beefs up the damage of the weapon even more. So technically the weapon now has two legendary rarities on it and it definitely has the double damage as well. And I'm kind of calling this like a quadruple pat because it's really the only way to explain it. I feel like this thing is doing at least the damage of a quadruple pack-a-punch or what you might experience and maybe even more. But yeah, you are able to put a new legendary tool on it and you can use a crystal on it to triple pack-a-punch it or you can take it to the pack-a-punch machine and pack-a-punch it as much as you want. You can also drop this weapon and give it to other players and it will keep that high damage rating. One thing you can't do is travel to other areas with this weapon. Like you can't go into story missions and you cannot go into the dark ether. Once you get in there, it's like, what is this weapon? Weapon. like this isn't a legitimate weapon and it will take it from you and give you your fists. So if you want to take this into the dark ether or wherever, make sure you do the glitch in the dark ether. This thing absolutely shreds in there because it kills like the mimics and the manglers and the disciples so fast. And that is why it is so good in the red worm boss fight because you melt all of those enemies that are coming at you while you're trying to fight the red worm. And then on top of that, this thing takes huge chunks out of the red worm. So I'll show you how this thing handles not glitched out and then glitched out. So I'm in tier three. This is a mimic. This is a non glitched out wonder Wolf. In tier three, it takes about four shots to kill a mimic, but once you glitch it out, it like quadruples the amount of damage that it can do and it will one shot all the mimics, even if it's a contract. Right here, this is a tier three disciple contract. This thing has a lot of health and I kill it with one shot. I think the first shot I miss, but the second shot lands and it's insta dead. And that's why this thing is so good in the red worm boss fight because that's the crap they're throwing at you and you need to quickly eliminate those enemies so that you're not getting ran over 
over and getting killed. And on top of that, it's really good against the worm. And that was the issue I was coming across with these wonder weapons. They would be good for some enemies, but not the others. Like the VR-11 is great on the Mega Abomination, but does zero damage on the Red Worm. And I'll show you guys all that boss fight footage here in just a moment, but I want to show you a little more about what this glitched out Wonder Wolf can do with enemies that are not in the boss fight. So you're clearly melting everything in tier three. So I wanted to go test the Storm Caller. This is a very tanky enemy, and I feel like this could be a good boss to test weapons on to find out if it's going to be any good against the Red Worm. And as expected, it did a great job. It was like five shots and it was dead. Now we've had regular weapons that would do this amount of damage, but they have nerfed all of those. So here's a workaround. And then to further illustrate how much more powerful the Wonder Waff is glitched out, I glitched out a ray gun. So this thing is, you know, considered quadruple tapped. And I was thinking maybe one or two shots. It wasn't. It took multiple shots. So definitely not as strong. I also tried this glitched out ray gun with all this extra damage in the red worm boss fight and I was not impressed whatsoever. When you use the wonder waff it is moving that health bar and the ray gun not so much. Now there are other players shooting the worm and helping the damage but yeah this ray gun I would never bring this in and even like the enemies around the map that are coming at you. They were difficult to deal with. I'm not insta-killing them. They are running me over. No thank you. Never taking this in again. So now here's the Red Worm boss fight with the glitched out Wonder Waff. This thing is, again, considered quadruple paths. And we're also in a tier two zone which means this is the hardest Red Worm boss fight you can get. We are already taking chunks out of this Red Worm. There's only two of us with the Wonder Waff and the other player has just a regular SMG or something. But yeah, we are moving that health bar really rapidly. Also, anything that gets in your path is going to be dead. In just a moment, a mimic kind of gets in my way. I wasn't even trying to shoot it, but it was just in the line of fire and it got melted. But yeah, you will be killing everything in this boss fight. Not Nothing will touch you. Even though we were in tier three and this is the hardest red worm boss fight area, it was the easiest because of these wonder wafts. And yes, they will be patching the hell out of this. For people that are struggling with this boss fight, this could help you out before it does get patched. You could go in and farm it a few times, get what you need before this is gone. Now this boss fight is still difficult and you're going to need good gear. It's not as easy as throwing gas grenades and melting the worm like we did in that one story mission. On top of us being in the most difficult area to fight this worm, the storm was kind of far away. So when that countdown timer started, it gave us not a lot of time to fight this worm, but we we finished it with time to spare and we don't often see that. Another thing we did was park vehicles around the perimeter and we would melee them and set them off so the alarm would attract the zombies. And shout out to Tag935, that was his idea and I think that could be a very good strategy. However, these Wonder Wolves were wrecking so I'm not sure how much we needed them. Also, if you get eaten by the worm, blast that Wonder Wolf. You can see I'm going to do a lot of damage here inside of its mouth. Right here we finished the worm in about seven minutes and we could definitely go faster and we weren't trying to speed run we just wanted to go in and test the wonder waft to see how good it would do and we were pleasantly surprised now i know there are other weapons that work good on the worm as well but this was a test on which wonder weapon would work the best i did also test out the scorcher glitched out on the red worm but yeah it didn't do hardly anything to the worm it did help with the enemies around it but i wanted something that would be good on the worm and the enemies around it but this was a lot of fun testing out all those weapons and shout out to BBK and Tag935. We spent a lot of time going through the different ones to see which one works. And hopefully this will help you guys out and we'll see you next video.